Hello, my name is Kristen. I am an artist and illustrator. I'm signed up for a couple of local art markets this summer and I want to offer a tote bag, but I really didn't want to get one printed from like a sublimation printing company. I wanted to be somewhat eco-friendly with the whole process, so I decided that I would block print on fabric. So that's what this video is. I'm going to show the process from start to finish, from sketch to the final product of how I made these tote bags. I moved to Utah almost a year ago and while a lot of my paintings and some of my booth setup is of places in the west generally, I feel like my Utah specific things are kind of lacking so I wanted to make something that felt really local. I wanted to create a design that would be composed of multiple different stamps so I could kind of remix it, rearrange the stamps if I wanted to, replace them if they got old, or I could even carve a new stamp uh, that replaces that Utah one and make it for a different state or just have something more generic. So the design features a cutthroat trout, a seagull lily, a bighorn sheep, a quail, some sagebrush, a brine shrimp, and a little delicate arch stamp. I have just mocked it up in Procreate. I want it to be like a Utah specific thing that I can have at farmers markets. I also have this brine shrimp, but alternatively this paintbrush, like an Indian paintbrush. I might just carve a paintbrush and a brine shrimp and have two different versions of it because the poll that I put up on my Instagram is pretty split. And I feel like the paintbrush is pretty, but the brine shrimp is more of like a Utah thing. But I'm really excited to start working on this. I really love carving this stuff. I get into such a flow with it and once the drawing is all done, it feels not mindless, but just meditative. I ended up just drawing my design straight onto that rubber block. There are ways to transfer a more detailed drawing, but I just made sure that everything was flipped and then copied by sight what I saw. I started out by cutting the individual stamps off from the block, which made it easier to carve like each individual design. And then I got to carving. I did not really take any video of me carving these, but you can imagine what I did. I basically just removed material from the places that I wanted to be white and left material where I wanted it to be black. I did some test printing because it's sometimes really hard to see what you're doing. I know you can stain the block with India ink to kind of get a better idea of what will remain black, but I didn't do that. So I just decided to do some test printing on paper. This kind of just helped me see where each individual design was at and if I needed to make any adjustments, which I definitely did. Sometimes it's hard because you can achieve a level of detail in your sketch that you can't really achieve in the actual block just because of the limitations of the thickness of the ink or whatever. So I'm really glad that I did these test prints before I printed on the actual tote bags. At first I was printing by putting the paper on top of the stamp, but I realized that the way that I was gonna do it on the tote bag was to put the stamp face down onto the canvas. So I did that same technique for my test prints as well. I think this footage of each block getting inked for the first time is very satisfying. So these are some of the test prints that I did on paper. You can kind of see that with the lily in particular, the lines that I made were just too thin and not deep enough. So I went in and kind of cleaned that up. And same thing for the little sagebrush embellishments. They were just like too thin of lines. So the ink was kind of pooling in places and resulting in not the cleanest ink. I will say that the prints look a lot different on paper versus on the canvas. So just be aware of that if you try this yourself. I got these recycled cotton canvas tote bags from totebagfactory.com. I paid $84, including shipping, for 25 tote bags, which comes out to $3.36 per tote bag, in case you are curious. I'm just using the fabric block printing ink from Speedball. It's an oil-based ink that doesn't need to be set with heat before it's like waterproof and you can wash it and stuff after a week of dry time. My friend, who is a professional printmaker, 
gave me the advice to really load up the blocks with ink because when you're printing on canvas, a certain amount of ink will kind of get absorbed into the material. This was my first time ever relief printing on fabric, so I was a little bit nervous and you can tell that I didn't quite load up enough ink onto the first couple of blocks, but after a while I definitely got the hang of it and you can see that the print looks pretty clean. I tried a few different techniques while printing these. I printed each block individually first and then tried loading each block with ink and putting them all down at once, which results in a very satisfying reveal type video, but you definitely have more control with the placement and stuff if you print each block individually. I'm glad I had a few tries to get this right. I only printed about eight on the first day. My first market is pretty small, so I think it'll be good to kind of gauge people's interest. And I can always adjust the design or make a different one for like my online shop. I'd love to hear your feedback from you guys because I know that you're based all over the world. So this kind of like hyper local design is not really suited for my online stuff. But I do want to create another design that will be more suited for everyone. But I know a lot of these design elements like people like and can relate to like the quail and the trout people are really into. And... I don't think that just because it's a Utah specific design that you have to live in Utah to rock this tote bag. Also, I'm going to be dyeing a few of the bags with indigo with the help of a friend. Um, hi Anna, if you're watching this. So I'll probably print on those with white ink, which I'm kind of excited and curious to do. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the quality of the totes for the price. Uh, I don't have a ton of studio storage. So I didn't want to order a massive quantity, but they would have been a lot cheaper per unit if I would have ordered more. And I'm really happy with the overall design. I really like the look of block printing. I like how it's not perfect and there's little imperfections and uniqueness to every single bag. I like that it's a functional, sustainable object that I can provide. It's useful, but it's also a handmade piece of art, which I think is really cool. All right, that's it. That's the end of the video. I hope that you liked it and I hope it was informative. If you have thought about doing this process yourself, um, I would love to see, like maybe you should tag me on Instagram or something if you end up block printing on fabric. I don't know if it's just like my algorithm, but I feel like I've been seeing this a lot lately. So maybe there's like a resurgence in block printing on fabric. I do think that I will be reusing some of these stamps to print on some secondhand t-shirts or clothing items that I find. As always, I am little tiny egg everywhere on the internet, primarily Instagram, sometimes TikTok, mostly YouTube. Let me know if you like this more process focused video or if you prefer like vlogs or sit down videos from me. I'm happy to make whatever. I just thought that this process was kind of unique for me and deserved its own video. So thanks for spending time with me. I hope that you had a good time and I hope you have a really great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.